Hello everybody, this is Aquatimi, and we are back today with The Sims 2 Mega Hood. This is round number 6, part number 26 at the Ramirez Family in Blue Water Valley Village. Blue Water Village. And I've left them in a state. I have left them in a very bad state of affairs. And... If you watch all the episodes, you will know that Lisa is pregnant by Herb Oldie. Yeah, so there's that. Um, do you work today? You do work today at 6 p.m. Okay, we're going to get you to come up and go to sleep immediately. Chico, and I need to run the business. Well, we got 12 grand. It is a Saturday. He doesn't work today, which make would make it the perfect day to run the business. Okay, and they have twins. I don't remember if the twins are going to age up to toddlers this week or if they were just born last week. I don't. I don't remember. Um, but we did a house reno, so we added two bedrooms. And the nursery is teeny tiny. So we were going to move the nursery over here. But I don't, I don't. Mm. Oh, Lord. We got our hands full with this one. Um, Let's hit play. Let's get her upstairs in bed. Because even though she's pregnant with a baby that's not her husband's, I don't want her to lose it if she doesn't have to. Oh, God, she won't go to work. She needs to get... She might go to work anyway. If she hasn't had the baby by 6 p.m. Okay, we'll see. Okay, you're working on... Why are you playing creativity? You have nothing... No desire for creativity. Stop. Stop. Do you have a, um, hold on, you got 29, you've got 20, um, Stop doing that and come out here. He wants his friend Steven to meet the aliens again. How about no? Not right now. Charisma, body, charisma, logic. And he does need a charisma point. Okay. So when you get off of that, we'll let you putt for a little bit. Um, Tessa wants to get to know the oldies. And she wants a logic point. Okay. Now Tessa's still not a teen. She's got two more rounds after this one before she's a teen. And her and the twins are Malaya and Marisol. I kind of think they're going to age up in this round, but I'm not 100%. I'm, I'm not 100% that they're going to age up in this round. But I kind of think they are. And I need to run, I need to work on the business. We haven't been doing the business. Blue Water Village is supposed to be all about running businesses. And we haven't really done too much on the business as far as I remember. Maybe we have. We did some because we have the best of the best reward and we have a gold sales badge. So we have done some. Okay. 
and Le yeah, Lisa had up there. Um, and she's got a gold sales badge. We might have to hire an employee. I usually run all the businesses on without employees, but we might have to do an employee to run the register or something and then let you run everything else. Okay. Get that real quick. Okay. We're going to lock that in. And then we are going to tap out. Okay, I want to move this to here, I think. Because uh, how many squares is in this? One, two, one. That's not going to work either. I wanted to put two the cribs in here. Do we have a... A sim blender? Is this a sim blender? Okay, let's put the sim blender there. Crib, crib. Alright. This is just, this house is just tight on space. We might. Hear me out. We might put this in the hallway. And we really don't need this table. I mean, we could put it here, but it's just going to block. We're just going to sell that. So we can leave the babies in here. But then as toddlers, they're probably going to put all the toddler stuff in here. And when they age up, they may get moved over here. I, do, I don't know. We do not have snapdragons. We need to get them. Um, we do need to get the snapdragons. Uh, feed a bottle to Marisol. Cuddle Marisol. And put Marisol in the crib. As I think the I think the babies age up this round. I think. I'm hoping the babies age up this round. Because, you know, she's pregnant again. And she better not have twins again. That'd be really bad. Alright, Tessa, go ahead and baby, use the bathroom. Let's see what we can do about getting you some food to eat. Um, you have been buying. Um, you bought two stoves. No, you've bought three stoves. A retro green stove. And two of these stoves. Okay. Just going to sell those. I think the only food that you're going to be able to eat is, is this burnt. Because I don't think these have been served. Oh, you can grab a plate. Okay, good, good. We'll actually clean this up and then grab a plate. Mm -mm -mm. Tomato come. Just grab a plate. The plants are wonderful. Excellent. Oh, you can go into the, the dining room and eat. I would eat at the dining... Mm. Well, that's a choice.
Okay. You're gonna take a shower. Oh, you're gonna take a bath. Okay. We're gonna go to the to the business. We're gonna go to the business. We got some child support probably. Oh god. Okay, the maid is here, that's good. I think we're gonna go ahead and go down to the You could go great Sophia Baldwin. Um, we're going to Ramirez Fine Furniture. Why don't you come greet Sophia Baldwin? I don't think we have any employees, but I think we're going to need to get one if possible. You want to play chess. You like... Their ages are not that different. So that'll be fine. And I might want to make some changes. Um... Okay, seems like I've already made some changes. Okay, good, good. But we don't have any employees, right? Okay. And it's currently closed. Can we hire a cashier is the question. Do I need a phone for that? Um, because I think I got rid of the phone. Business, hire employees for this lot. Dude, we're here to run a business. We might want to change out this furniture. Oh, no. Okay, Kristen Love. Gretchen. Joe Graham. We definitely don't want a played sim. It'd have to be one of these three. How about Kristen Love? We might hire two. Because we can have one run the register. Toggle up and close. Summon employees. Okay, what kind of badges do you have? You have a sales badge. And you're getting a restocking badge. Okay. Where's our employees? Uh, I guess they'll get here eventually. 
So I might want to, I don't know. Okay, Joe Graham, you are going to be, come greet Joe Graham. Greet Kristen Love. Uh, Kristen doesn't exactly look like the employee type, but sure. You, instrument, uh, assign to be the cashier. You, uh, assign to be a restocker. Come on, Joe Graham, you're at work. Now, are both of our employees fairly paid? Fairly paid, fairly paid. Excellent. We are going to also be a restocker, but we are going to be a salesman first and foremost. No, you know what? Let's for at least right now just be a salesperson. I don't know who you are while you're back there, but We are selling stuff fast. What rank are we? We're rank six. One restocker who doesn't have a thing is probably not going to be able to keep up. Okay, we might need another restocker. Uh, business, hire employees for this lot. What was that other woman? Uh, yeah, you. Let's hire you. Tessa, yeah, I'm sure. Um, where did I, where do I have the thing? Summon employees, Gretchen Monif. I'm going to put her on the register and stick this other guy on restock. Uh, great Gretchen. Hey, Gretchen, you are going to be assigned uh, as the cashier. And you are going to be assigned to restock items. We might have to do the cashier. Do we have any kind of cashier badge? No. Because Lisa always did the cashier. Um, we may have to 
step in and run a cashier. Okay, she can't get around him because, of course, she can't. All right, people, second register opening, second register opening. Okay. Management assign restocking items. Come on. Come on, Christian. Christian. Okay, this is not working. Christian. Christian, stop, stop. Listen to what I'm telling you. Now, Christian, uh, more. Okay, you stop doing that for right now. Management, assign. Restock items. And then ring up these customers. Come on. You have no idea how to ring up customers either. All right, guys. There are two lines. Two lines. Come on, Chico. Okay, okay. Will I be okay if I leave two registers at the front? Or is it going to cause me grief? Oh, stupid freaking witches! I think we can walk away from the business for a second. Well, then why did you do it? Dispose of those. taking him. Okay. Business, you're the salesperson. Go for it, Chico. She's new, guys. Cut her some slack. She'll get better. have to get her fairly paid. Uh, no. Thank you, but no. Oh. 
Oh, did she come back? This is, this is not okay. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to find... I'm all flustered. I'm all flustered. NPCs. Banhead witches. Ban annoying. Well, they've caught up some. Okay, so you need to go. Katrina. Bronze stocking. Okay, she's got a silver badge now, too. Okay. Okay. I think I've gotten carried away with running the business. I might need to head back home. But I get I just like running the little businesses. not good times. Okay, so we've got to change his wage. There you go, my dude. Um, and let's, let's just toggle, uh, toggle open closed, then you can help restock.
and then we'll send employees off. Okay, George can, uh, Joe can go. You're, you're done too? Uh, dismiss employee Christian Love. And then we can dismiss employee Gretchen. Thank you all very much. Looks like we made tons today, but we took two of the money rewards. Okay, uh, dispose of that, and then we'll head home. Oh, no, 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 no. We need to go get Snapdragons. Uh, so before we go home, we need to get some Snapdragons. Let's say we have three kids, one on the way. Not that he knows that yet, but four kids. And then two, so we need at least six. Okay, let's see. We'll get, I kind of like to get one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's all we need. <sighs> Florence. That's lovely and all, but I need you to run the register. Florence, there you go. Thank you, Florence. Let's drive home. Okay. And when he gets home, he can take care of Malaya. And then we can um, we'll get rid of these lamps. We don't need them anyway in that lamp. And we will... You can have this one. kind of want the white ones in here.
I kind of want the white one in her room too, to be honest. I know I could change I could change the color, but I don't want to change the color. There you go. How are you doing, Lisa? Okay, come in here and use the bathroom. And then we'll get you some food. Oh, hey, Stella Roth. Talk, talk about hobby, music, and dance. Oh. Okay, um, we'll get you to feed a bottle to Malaya. Cuddle Malaya and put Malaya back in the crib. I'm not sure whose phone is ringing. Oh, it's Lisa's. Well, she needs to eat more than she needs to answer that phone right now. Uh, no, not right now. Because I want to use the phone. I, I know, babe. Ugh. Don't you get her food. She needs to eat that food. to do logic or charisma. I don't know where we put... Oh, we've got one down here. Purchase a community lot? No, not right now. I mean, we might. We could put some of your money up. Is this a hacked computer? Yeah. We could put some of your money up to earn interest, or we could start a new business. You are not going to go push her. You're going to go upstairs and take a little shower. Um, and then you can, I don't know. You want to work on logic and mechanical. Thank you, maid. Then go in here where you'll be new snapdragons. And why don't we call your friends? I know you're not a popularity sim, but still, you could call your friends and catch up with them. Sim is she gonna be? She's a Aries. Popularity. That's what. Yeah. And how are you so tired already? I 
I'm not sure where Sophia went. Oh, Sophia's just hanging out back on the swing. Is he knowledge secondary? He is. Okay. You're down here. No, don't go splash in the puddle. You're already so tired. Can you go to sleep? Yeah, go get some more sleep. Oh, you're supposed to go to work today at 5. And I've been trying to get you off the resident. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I could send her, but I don't know what it would do for her. You do want logic. Natasha's walking by. Do you want to greet? Oh, she's too late. Um, here, why don't you practice? Since you love that so much. And then maybe we can get Sophia... to join. <laughs> oh. Lisa has the day off. What if I want to send her to work? To get her off the night shift. I know she's pregnant, but she's only had the one pop. So she's not going to have the baby. She's in really good shape. I think I could send her to work. I think it would be okay. I really think it would be. I, I hope it would be okay. Because I really want to get her off the night shift. Oh. People are walking by and I'm just like ignoring it. All right, sweetie. Why don't you drive to work? We'll chance it. Because you're not... You haven't had the second bump yet. Unless you're about to have it. And you're only going to be there until one. So I think it'll be okay. You're just going to town with charisma, which is fine. It's fine. Of course, if the babies age up, then there's only going to be one parent here. That's going to be a little hard. Eh, you're kind of making a friend. We'll find out if the babies are aging up. If they are, you're going to have to handle it. Oh, they are. Okay. Okay. What do you need? You need to use the bathroom and take a shower real quick. 
and then we've got to age up tots. We've got to age up the babies to toddlers. And I'm going to put all the toddler stuff in this room. I think what we're going to do is do we have anything yellowy? Mm, no. Less orangey. Could do. Sure, we'll just do that. Okay. Stick them at the end. And then we'll get um we'll get a potty. Will the potties fit in the we can get another potty down here in this bathroom. And then we can get a rabbit. The music is going to have to go out in the hallway. And... And then we'll work on aging up the kiddos. Oh, smart milk. I could put something right here. If I didn't put this here, if I put this here, I could put just a, uh, just a counter here. It is smart milk. Okay. Marisol. I know, baby, I know. We'll change Marisol's diaper. And then we will age up Marisol. That's the plan. You're a little hungry, but we're going to have to just buckle down. You are a little tired. You still haven't made a friend. Oh, now she's made a friend. Okay. We got you, Marisol. Don't you worry. Mm. Okay. There is Marisol, who will hopefully grow into her looks. She wants everything. And she is a Leo. A Leo's popularity? Yeah. I figured a Leo was popularity. Popularity. So that's two popularity girls in the house. Okay, she needs a bottle. And then... Yo, Chico, go ahead and make some smart milk so she can drink a bottle. And we probably won't be able to train her much right now. Sweetie, wait for your bottle. Because you're hungry. Wait for your bottle. After you've eaten your bottle... 
You can, you can drink this bottle. Okay, you go get Malaya. And after we do that, we'll age up baby Malaya. And maybe we can get some skills done, but... Okay, now you can go play. Now she doesn't want to play. No, you're not going straight to sleep. I want to get you a little bit of skill before you go to bed. No! This is me just constantly telling toddlers, No, no, that is not what you're going to do. There's little Malaya. Mm. Little Malaya. Okay, Malaya is a Capricorn, which is fortune, right? Yeah. So she is fortune. She is, she's not nice. She is not nice. She's very neat, but she's not nice at all. What about you? Okay, you're kind of middle of the ground, but very outgoing. Uh, she's not nice. Not sure where she got that from. Both of her parents are very nice, but Malaya not real nice. Okay, let's make her a bottle. Like like a bottle. Malaya, please just wait. Wait till I can get you the bottle. Cause I'm just gonna make you stop to drink the bottle. A member of the below average bowlers league has come in with a sprained thumb and is demanding immediate attention. There are a number of free clinic patients waiting to be seen, but Lisa has also heard that the BABL is a powerful political force in Sim City. She could see the man immediately or make a point of informing him that other citizens are just as important as he is and that he'll need to wait his turn. The below average bowler is at first taken aback by Lisa's forthrightness, but he is nevertheless impressed. It turns out that he is a benefactor of the Sim City General and a major uh, and a major supporter of the hospital's free clinic. A quick word with the chief of staff, and the lobbyist has gotten Lisa out of her contract with the hospital and secured her a position at a neighborhood clinic as a general pr practitioner. Oh, thank goodness. All I care she gets off the night shift. Okay, you are going to drink that bottle. You are tired, but you are going to crawl over here real quick so your daddy can teach you to talk. Teach to talk. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Teach to talk. Teach a nursery rhyme. Okay, Mama. Yeah, yeah, come up here and use the potty. Bathroom, whatever. Okay, she needs skills again, but she's off the next two days. Okay, that's good, so she'll have time to skill. She'll have time to skill. Okay. Come upstairs and use the bathroom, and then you can work with Malaya. Malaya wants to learn to walk and talk. And maybe we can teach her to walk. How is Tessa doing? Tessa, baby. No, honey. Come upstairs. And get ready for bed. Teach her to walk, babe. I know it's going to be hard, but see what you can do. Leia. 
I don't know why L M O L M. So we got energy. She wants to teach her to talk. I ought not have her teaching her to talk. She is getting tired. That's okay. She has to use the bathroom a little bit. Why don't you try to teach her to talk? Oh, you are tired. Uh, I think you're okay, though. Maybe. Because we can't get to the... It'll be okay. She is getting really tired. Mm. Oh. All right, I think what we're going to do is we're going to cancel this. And have you tried to pair, uh, potty train uh, Malaya? That's Marisol, right? Yeah. Because y'all are both getting tired. Uh, or not. Okay, okay. She's just going to go play. Okay. Oh, just the original. Okay, good. Oh, oh, stop. Oh, oh. 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 oh, that baby is so light skinned. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that kid is going to look nothing like their other kids. And it's a boy. Oh, Lord. Uh, that would be G. Uh, Grant. Um... Chico may, may question the paternity. I, I'm just saying. Um, did she go to the potty? No, not really. All right, Chico, I need you to do potty train Malaya. And then um, we'll have you... Uh, feed Grant a bottle. 
and uh, cuddle Grant, and then put uh, Grant in a in yeah. Mm. Uh, he's happy to have a son, but he is wondering about um, a few things. Like how his son is so pale and blonde. I did not realize Herb was a blonde, but maybe he is. And I think he is going to um argue with her. About how our son is so pale and blonde. And then maybe he will argue a little bit more. And it's not going to make a bit of difference. And maybe she's going to argue back. Would she admit? I don't think she would admit. Hmm. I don't think she would admit. She goes gonna go to bed. Lisa's gonna go to bed. She never go to bed angry. But. I think she's going to say it's his baby to the end of time, even though it's not. Obviously not. And Chico might be the kind of man that would overlook. Because his options are to divorce his wife. And they've been together forever. They've got all these kids together. And yeah... Oh, she, I didn't make any bottles before. Chico, get up, make some smart milk real quick. Or did she want to? She has the want to do both of the girls. Come on, y'all get up for a second. Y'all have got babies. I know we're an, we're an hour in. Oh, I, I cannot believe the baby was born that pale and that blonde. Okay. Chico, will you come here and just make some smart milk? And then y'all can go back to bed after we have done some. You come drink this bottle. Baby. Come on, Marisol. And then you You're gonna potty train Marisol when she finished drinking her bottle. I know there's not that much room up here, Chico, but I mean Potty train Marisol. Let me get the baby out of the way. Uh. 
Okay. And I'm just going to let you... What does she have the want for? Just a potty train. He doesn't have any wants. You need to learn... I'm just going to let him go back to bed. Because he's got a busy day of running the business tomorrow, probably. Okay. And you... Oh, now you want to teach her those. And she needs to learn to walk still, but that's beside the point. Okay. You need to drink a bottle. <sighs> Could you uh, give your daughter a little bit of room? I am going to stop. I am. But I'm going to put her to teach her to talk and teach her a nursery rhyme. And then go to bed. And we're going to end this part right here. So thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And I hope that I'll see you back here again real soon. Bye for now, guys.